This is one of the trailers we took up the Cape this year, and I'll tell you what, it got a full workout. Now this is from Venom Terrain Vehicles, the trailer. Now we had the first strike Polaris on the back of it, and whew, how much fun do we have? But I just want to take you through, show you a little bit about what we used and how we used it up there. So we fitted up the 180 Foxwing awning up the top. Now inside, all the bells and whistles. So we had our storage in here. We've got the microwave, we've got the travel buddy. Now, some people call it important. It's not that important to me, but we had the big stereo system as well. Now we've got the red vision gauge here, which tells us where the lithium's at because it's got the red arc unit on the other side. We've got our uh, UHF radio, so it's got a base station. And this is how this works, is as a base station. We've got the Evercool 110 litre. Um, we've got our remote up here for our uh, inverter as well. And then in here, we have our slide out kitchen. Now how good is that? So really basic and simple. And remembering you're actually underneath your awning, so you're not getting wet at the same time. Now inside, you know, you've got your two cookers, you've got your sink. So it's all worked an absolute treat. So can't complain at all. And we've done something like, oh, probably, it'd be closer to 8,000 kilometers. Probably 3,000, 3,500, it's been on a lot of dirt. So covering a lot of, a lot of area. So it's really had a good workout on that side of things. But nothing's fallen off it. Um, we've got the roof tent up the top there. We've got our flip up uh, UHF antenna there. So it's all good. Now it's all independent suspension um, with double shocks on each wishbone. So it's, it's really set up well. Now we had a little bit of damage on this, this guard here, as you can see. Now that was when we were heading out to Cape Melville. Actually, we picked up a, a log and it went up and sort of churned it out. So, um, not the greatest, but uh, nothing really to fix. But you can actually see how thick this is. So it's it's not it's nothing to sneeze at. It's it's pretty good. But we've got dual spares. Hadn't didn't have to use any of those. We've got the recovery points on the back, uh, which has been great. We we didn't actually have to use them, but they were there if we did have to pull it back. Um, now, one thing I really liked about this was if you did have an issue with your buggy or, um, or you broke a CV or, or something like that and you couldn't get it up on the trailer, they've built in a winch underneath the floor there to pull the, pull the buggy up. And that's if the buggy didn't have its own winch. So either or either, it works both ways. So they got it covered. So just plug her in there and away you go. Now, inside here, this was our storage compartment. Now, this is where we've got our 600 amps of lithium batteries with our BMS 30, with our red vision on the other side, and our control box right here. Very good. Now, we had this loaded up with our Oztent chairs, Oztent swags. Um, I think we had another fridge sitting up in here, uh, all running off, off this system. And the whole thing performed absolutely brilliant. So no, it's really, really good. Then we have two jerry cans and our gas holder. We've got our breakaway brake system on it. But all in all, this has held up really, really well. So pretty impressed. For more information on these trailers, make sure you head over to Venom Terrain Vehicles to see what trailer's gonna suit you and have a look at some of their custom designs.